the Titanic disaster completely changed the law of the sea on how many lifeboats a ship has to carry. Nowadays, there has to be a lifeboat seat available for every passenger. And modern ships have to carry covered lifeboats, unlike the open boats on Titanic that night. There are still a fair old number of these in service on some of the older cruise liners and, and passenger ferries around the world. So um, still good old workhorses and fulfilling the roles of lifeboats today. No need to row them as they would have in the Titanic's days, but the shape and the sort of capabilities of it pretty much representative of uh, what was around then. As the movie depicts, Titanic carried 20 lifeboats. They could carry 1,200 people, but there were 2,200 aboard. It sounds crazy, but in 1912, the Atlantic was so full of ships, it seemed completely safe. When you watch Titanic, you get the sense that she sailed on virtually an empty ocean. And the reality is far from that. They nicknamed the North Atlantic Run the Transatlantic Railway. There were so many ships sailing across that route, east to west and west to east, that there would be always the opportunity of coming across another vessel in a disaster situation. That's why Titanic's 20 lifeboats were thought to be plenty, with ships nearby always ready to help. Lifeboats in 1912 were seen not as actually there primarily to save life. If a ship was in distress, the passengers would literally be ferried from one vessel to another. So it wasn't necessary to have lifeboat space for every single passenger on board.